Everyone is talking about the shocking thing that happened yesterday. You know what I'm talking about. I have it on good authority that it was not at all what you might have thought it was. And in any event, the responsible parties are taking steps to make sure it never happens again. In the meantime, keep calm and carry on. And don't forget to take your joy. And the weather report is, rain, rain, go away, come back again some other day. <laughs> Remember, gentlemen, while rainwater goes down smooth in a whiskey, it does not contain jaw. So, if you like to collect rainwater for tempering your constitutional, please remember to adjust your dose accordingly. And the weather is delightfully sunny, inside and out. Who doesn't love an English spring? I expect to see nothing but smiles out there. In fact, anything but smiles out there is strictly forbidden. <laughs> also, extremely unlikely, unless someone's happy face falls off. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Better make sure it's not you. <laughs> In case you might have heard a loud explosion coming from the general direction of the Victory Memorial Camp, don't worry, it wasn't someone blowing themselves up on the minefield. It was merely the members of the Home Army testing their ordnance. Mortar shells apparently don't last forever, and there's nothing more frustrating than dropping a shell on the enemy and it turning out to be a dud. <laughs> so they must regularly test their supplies. That's all it was. No fatalities at all, and no worries. You may have noticed one of our favourite shops boarded up. There's no need to worry, we're told the proprietor, you know who I'm talking about, is renovating and he doesn't want anyone to see it until it's done. At least that's what he says. I suspect he may simply have gone on holidays and doesn't want us to know. <laughs> so if you notice a certain person comes back to earth looking remarkably well rested, we'll know the truth, won't we? <laughs> Our local football team has done it again. A thrilling victory over some tough rivals. You've never seen such exciting footwork. And they really use their heads. Of course, it's nothing less than we expect from our finest. If you see them, do buy them a pint for me. I'm sorry to say tomorrow's cricket match has been postponed due to uncertain weather. We can't very well play cricket in a typhoon. So we'll let you know the revised schedule as soon as we receive the details. In Hamlin, our favourite butcher shop has a very special special today. Is it pork chops? Is it pepperoni? Is it filet mignon? Is it roast chicken? Or is it just several cases of fresh, delicious V-meat? <laughs> now that I've got your mouth watering, well, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll have to go visit yourself. And do give your favourite butcher my regards, because no one slices like he does. There has been some confusion about the pass required to enter the city centre of Wellington Wells. To obtain your pass, you simply need to present yourself in person with a recent photograph and a typed explanation of your purpose at the Department of Public Order. It's simple, isn't it? That's all you have to do. The department is located at 5 Wapping Road, near the corner of Bath Street, in the centre of Wellington Wells. I hope that clarifies everything. There has been some excitement at the Victory Memorial Camp. An unauthorised person was intercepted attempting to plant tulips <laughs> around the chain lick fence. Fortunately, she set off all the alarms and was quickly apprehended. Now, imagine how alarming it would have been if she'd not been caught. Kaboom! Yes! Now, the leadership of the Home Army hastens to remind the public that the Victory Camp and the surrounding relics of our heroic resistance have been preserved in its immediate post-victory state. That means unmarked minefields and unexploded ordnance every which way. She could have got herself blown up. So don't be a tourist fatality. No one except members of the Home Army in good standing has any purpose in the memorial camp. And if you want to plant flowers, how about planting them in town where we can all see them? Some viewers have asked me, how can I find out more about the resistance and the victory? Now, I always tell them, why on earth would you want to know more about the war years? Their ancient history and our lives are so much better now. But, due to popular demand, we now have a book with all the answers. 
It's called The Story of Our Victory. And it's written by me, Jack Worthy. It's a lovely little book with cheery illustrations and quotations from all your favourite wartime heroes. And it tells you absolutely everything you should ever want to know about the war and our glorious victory. If it's not in the book, <laughs> you don't need to know it. Some viewers have asked, how do I join the brave soldiers of the Home Army? Now, I've asked the Home Army leadership to respond, and they would like you to know that the Home Army has a full complement of highly trained warriors ready to repel any future invasion by our enemies, or even our friends. <laughs> so there's no need to join anything. You can just be a patriot by smiling at everyone you meet. Now, go about your day and enjoy our lovely English weather, whatever it is.